Hi guys, uh, here we are. It's the second ship in wave 18 of Attack Wing. And as I said last time, uh, it's going to be the Bioship Beta. Um, I think this looks absolutely stunning as a model. Um, I think they've done a really nice job. It's a shame that it's in a completely the wrong colour scheme. Uh, it should be kind of an orangey and more organic thing. It actually reminds me of ships off Battle on Five, Battle on Five if I'm honest with you. Um, but you know what? I really like what they've done. I think they've done a great job. Uh, just some of the detail on the surface here is really nice. Um, as I said, it's just a real shame that she's in the wrong colour scheme. Uh, it probably does help that it'll differentiate it from the Bioship Alpha, which unfortunately I don't have. Um, but this little beauty has made me think that I may well invest in uh, another species 8472 ship because I really like it. And, and I just think, apart from being stupidly powerful, um, I just really like uh, the, the species 8472 guys as a race but yeah as i said a really nice ship i don't think there's a lot i can really say much more on that um apart from just give you kind of a, a few good views around it but as you can see just really nicely detailed really impressively detailed on this one um i just don't think they've done it as good an alien ship anywhere else um so far uh, but you know i can always be proved wrong and there are ships that i haven't got from previous wings that that may prove to be better than this one so we'll we'll see we'll see and i'm sure somebody will comment and tell me that there are better alien ships out there um okay so let's move on take a look at the stats for this one so bio ship beta as we said um we are looking at uh a great little ship here there's the uh the maneuver dial for you as well so as you can see, we have a rather impressive six attack, two defense, five hull, six shield. This thing is going to take a beating seriously, especially because you've got regenerate in there, which means you can pop a shield back on uh, as your action instead of doing something else. Uh, you've also got evade, target lock, and your scan in there. Um, looking at the, the options that you can upgrade, you've got three tech upgrades, and there are a lot of tech upgrades with this ship. Plus you've got two weapon upgrades. It really is a beast. Um, as we've said, uh, as I've just said, uh, that six attack is an absolute killer, uh, and it's got a great little uh, little feature. When defending during the compare results, you can cancel one of the uh, damage results, and if you do so, you place an auxiliary power token beside your ship. So effectively, you're getting yourself a buy straight away, uh, just because it's a bio ship, uh, and you're getting to remove one of those uh, one of those damage results, which is is phenomenal. Um, 38 points, so it is going to eat a lot of your stuff up if you are looking at playing a 50 point per ship rule. If you're looking at playing a 40 point ship per rule, uh, it's going to really seriously uh, limit you to your options. In fact, I don't think you'd be able to use anything from this pack uh, if you're looking at using it as a, a ship pure. Um, maneuver wise it is very very maneuverable you've got everything at two and three plus you've got that 180 turn only a couple of them are going to cost you those uh that auxiliary power token a lot of auxiliary power tokens used with this one i'll tell you um at your right and your left uh, and you've got a four forward uh, and only the just the uh, slight turns at one uh, but you have got a couple of green maneuvers in there as well so it's really really maneuverable and extremely powerful not fast but certainly very maneuverable okay Moving on, let's take a look at your crew options. Uh, there's really only two uh, captain options with the uh, 8472 ship. You've got your generic captain, so let's just get rid of that one. Uh, and you've got your bio ship beta pilot. So when attacking during the modify attack dice step, you can reroll one of your blank results. A bit like using a target lock. If your ship was just, just destroyed and another friendly ship is removing one and two, you can place that ship's captain card with this card. If the captain field did a, a elite upgrade, you can assign that elite upgrade to the new ship as well. So very similar to what the Borg Queen can do, where you can move her from ship to ship. Um, interesting to see how that works if you're using this as not faction pure. Uh, faction pure, it's going to be nice because you'll just be able to skip everything across. Uh, but I really, I really like the fact that this guy, he's also an eight. So I mean, you're not going to, you're going to, might be moving last, but you are going to be able to kick some serious butt pretty soon on. Does cost you six points for that eight captain, but he is a, a cracking captain option. Um, just to give you that, that blank reroll, which you do get a lot of blanks uh, when you're playing. Uh, apart from this weekend when, uh, and random story, uh, I was lucky, I had one last hit to make on a, a Romulan Vrax class ship, uh, a Vrax warbird, sorry. 
and uh, my opponent rolled, managed to roll three of eight in three dice, which was uh, really annoying. Um, so yeah, nice option, good pilot. Um, again, an eight four seven two guy, so he's got a lot of skill. Very powerful. Really nice one. Okay, let's take a look at the elite option. Uh, elite action, as we said, is only one, which is telepathy. You can discard this card immediately before you move in order to change your maneuver for that round. So there are a lot of ships out there that use uh, maneuver changes as their unique unique action. With this one, you are getting it as the unique as sorry as the elite action, um, and it's saying it's unique, so you can only have one per ship. And it does cost you four points for a discard, and you can only change your maneuver once, which is a bit of a shame. Remember, though, that if you've got this, you're likely to have a captain who is going to be quite high on the points, so you are going to be one of the last people to move. So towards the end of the game, when you may be trying to get out of a situation, or you want to get yourself into a situation to kind of finish somebody off, uh, this one's probably going to come in useful right at the end for you. So nice little option to, to have in there, but it is four points and it is a discard. Okay, uh, as I said, there are no crew options with this one, but we do have two weapons options. So we have Energy Blast, which is this one. Eight attack dice. It's going to cost you eight points to put it on your ship, but it kind of, you get eight dice. Um, this is an absolute killer at range two to three, so you're not having to get that close either. Uh, you spend your target lock, discard this card to perform. What can you say? Uh, you are costing a lot of uh, and you are discarding it, so it is a one use, but that is a, an absolute beast of an attack at an eight, and it's not going to be too close either. You're going to be looking at putting that on your ship. Uh, remember, though, if you are playing 50 points a ship, that is going to take you up to 46, which means you're going to have four up, four points left, so you probably want to put that telepathy one on uh, to, to give you some option of getting out of the way. The problem is, of course, and I've just thought about this, that you'll have put a captain on as well, so you are going to be running out of points rapidly, so... How are you going to put that on? I'm really not sure, unless you put a captain on who is a captain skill or not. Not saying that's a hint, but you might have to end up using this guy, uh, your generic 8472 pilot, to kind of get you out of trouble on that one. Then you've got biological weapon. That picture, of course, is from uh, Scorpion. Harry Kim getting biologically weaponed. Uh, you discard the card for a six points. It's a five dice, which is actually one less than you are using on your general attack. But if it, if it hits in addition to normal damage, you discard one crew upgrade with choice on the defending ship for each battle station result you get. So you get a maximum two crew upgrades you can take away. This is going to be a killer if you're fighting people who've got Federation ships because they are massively crew heavy. So this one could be a really nice one to use against anybody who's got a Federation fleet out there because of the number of crew that they're going to use. You could effectively take all their crew options off them in one go if they're playing again 40, 50 points fleets. Uh, yeah, you are sacrificing an attack dice, but look at what you're going to be benefiting from it. So possibly one to get in near the beginning of the game. I like that one, really nice. So, onto your tech options for this game. You've got four. So, we're going to look at these in pairs. So, let's start off with biogenic field and biological tech. So, uh, biogenic field. Uh, when defending, you roll one more defense die, three versus a Borg ship. <laughs> That's going to help you a lot. In addition, when an enemy card ability affects one of your cards, roll one attack dice. Uh, three against the Borg again, and if you roll a battle station result, the card effect is cancelled. Yay! This is a beast of a card. Um, so you're getting an extra defense die. You get three against the Borg, and if you've got anything that's going to affect you, if you roll a battle station, you get to cancel it out. I mean, uh, it's that's it's a no-brainer, really. You would want to get that on there. Uh, it's only for 8472s. You're going to have one per ship, and, and I absolutely see why. And it's not a discard. This is this is an absolute killer for six. You you got to be having this one on your ship. Um, and then you look over at bi biological technology. It's five points. Um, place one mission token on this card at the start of each planning phase. When attacking, you can spend up to two of these tokens to add an equal number of attack dice. So when defending, you can spend up two of these to add an equal number of defense dice. So you can add up to two <laughs> attack and two defense uh, if you kind of build them up on this game and uh, on this card, sorry. Again, that's going to take you up to eight attack. It's just... It's just stupid numbers you're talking about. I know this hasn't got a rearward arc, but with the maneuverability you've got here with that 180 degree turn, pumping some of these, 
onto this buyer ship, you, you're going to cause some serious problems, particularly against any Borg opposition. This this is a, an absolute beast of a, a ship, and certainly these two cards, just to start with, Biogenic Field and Biological Technology, are going to be an absolute killers but the problem is that you're faced with is the, the limited number of points you've got on there your other two tech options you've got are again a six pointer and a five pointer it's fluidic space and electrodynamic fluid so fluidic space will tell first instead of move take making a normal move you can discard this card to remove your ship from the play area and immediately place it back anywhere in the play area but not within range one to two of any other ship you know what you know I always love these. There's one that you get with the Krenim ship, which is a brilliant one, and also one with the Dauntless. Um, these these are just superb little little ones that really do game change. Uh, yeah, okay, so you're going to have to uh, discard for it, but it does save your ass or put you into a better position. Think about it. You've got a, you've got the 180 turn with this one as well, and this fluidic space. You're going to have some serious problems getting destroying this ship if you've got these kind of abilities on there. Electrodynamic fluid. Uh, discard the card immediately to perform a second manoeuvre from your manoeuvre dial. Ah, so again, the already extremely manoeuvrable ship becomes even more manoeuvrable because you can pick to do something else. Uh, you can do it with a speed of three or less, or you can disable the card to perform a uh, sensor echo action even if ship's not cloaked. My God, this just gets better and better, doesn't it, guys? With the uh, with this pack, how I know there are a lot of people who complain about the Borg. But you've got to say, in comparison, these guys get stuff that can beat the Borg and gives them a lot more um, a lot more range on what they can do. So I, I know you don't get the arc uh, that you get with the, with the Borg ships, but certainly with this, you're getting a lot more um, stuff that is just, just turns this ship into an absolute beast. Um, so yeah, a really good one again, electrodynamic fluid um, that, can, that can really cause some problems. Okay, so to round out the pack, you don't actually get a lot of uh, stuff extra with this one. Okay, you get usual sort of your shields and things like that. Uh, you do get the regenerate card because the uh, as with the Borg, they do have the regenerate option to uh, in this one uh, regenerate. Uh, it's the ship that performs the regenerate action immediately repairs one damage of its choice to its hull. Um, a ship cannot, perform, cannot attack during the round that performs the regenerate action. So, you know, there's a lot of options in there. It's nice that you get to use regenerate. And that's that one. Um, and your game for this one is Final Stand. So it's two players, six objective tokens and six 12 mission tokens. It's a bio ship that's been severely damaged. So, as you can see, you've got your, uh, your bio ship, your enemy ship. Uh, and then in the middle of it, you've got uh, your mission tokens, objective tokens. So the point of the game with this one. So what you've got here is a straight sort of one-on-one. -on -one. Um, the interesting bit here is that the uh, bio ship starts damaged. And you can actually continue the fight with away teams on the asteroids. The point of the game is effectively to, to destroy each other, either to destroy the ship or to destroy each other's away team. So yeah, it gets quite interesting in the fact that you can't attack the ship when there's no crew on it, but you can then beam down and have a kind of fight on the asteroids. So it's a really different dynamic for the game, but I quite like this one. It's a nice little bit of a change uh, and certainly one I'm looking forward to having a bit of a play. Not sure what my enemy ship will be. I'll probably have to go some Federation ones to, to make it a bit more interesting but yeah overall a nice interesting pack um so as we've kind of said this is this is an absolute beast of a ship um considering how small it is and, and all that kind of stuff you know what it, it really does kick some serious ass uh and i i think it's going to cause some some major problems within the game because just of how powerful this thing is even in comparison to the borg ships um yeah, I'm just interested to see how this one's going to play out. So yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll certainly uh, make some comments that in the the main written review that'll be coming along uh, very very soon. Um, so that's it from the second ship of Wave 18, uh, Bio Ship Beta. Uh, as you can see, really nice piece of kit, um, and we will be finishing off the wave with the one of the smallest ones we've seen to date, Quark's Treasure. Uh, a little Ferengi shuttle, which does involve some new rules. Um, so we'll talk about those when we uh, open that pack up, and I will see you soon. Transfer complete.